Alright ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube citizens, it's beat making time once again. Y'all know who this is. This is the new Jay Gatsby, aka the new Stephen A. Smith, aka Jim Ryan the second, aka Dash the True Inferno. <laughs> and I'm back. Today's the 24th of June. 2013 so you know it's beat making time the last Monday of the month so what we got here is another beat all loops no sample once again and this is how I made the samurai path so yes the new beat I just released this past Tuesday so I'm gonna show you how I made this beat real quick and once again this beat samurai's path is off of my upcoming beat album the Kyoto Hour volume 1 so look out for that this beat will be available for you to listen to without the uh the vocal watermarks or anything like that that would be available tomorrow only cost 50 cent at trueinfernal.bandcamp.com more information about the album go to truedashinfernal.co.nr and there you go so let's focus on the beat now as you can clearly see I only used five tracks for this beat, so this is pretty good. And this was pretty easy to make. You know, just everything just fell into place once I heard them all piece by piece. So let's get to track number one, which is the focal point of the whole beat right here. And while it's playing, keep in mind that I did not change the pitch at all. The tempo stayed the same or anything. So... The tempo for the whole beat is at 87 beats per minute. And again, it changed the pitch for that first track, which is just a pad. And then we go to track two, which is the bass. Now, I got the bass from a different uh, folder. It's still the same loop set, but it's from a different folder. So the instruments I got in track two, three, and four, they came from the same folder. But off, they came in the same loop set as track one. So let's listen to the bass real quick as I solo it. And then repeat again like that. But look at this. Again, I didn't change the pitch. The pitch stays the same. Alright, so let's go over to track number three now. Where we get to one of the two melodies here. Let's listen to it. That sounds nice right there. But, again, the pitch stays the same. I didn't change it at all. So you, you get the pattern here. <laughs> and let's go to track four, which sounds like this. Uh-huh. And again, I didn't change the pitch. Just to let you know. Now, normally when I make a beat, you expect me to use some crazy patterns with the drums. Like, you expect me to create some crazy pattern with the drums. But when I heard this drum um, loop right here, I was like, oh man, it's perfect as it is. So let's listen to it real quick. Yeah. Right? That sounds nice. And just so I can just show you again, I didn't change the pitch. I know people don't change the pitch of anything drums related. Sometimes I do, but not as often. Alright, so let's listen to the beat as a whole real quick. So it starts off with the pad and the drums. The drums are going to be consistent mostly throughout the entire beat, but not all the way. So, and then you know, you hear this again. The pad and the drums combination. Then the bass gonna kick in. Four, three, two, one. Sounds nice, right? Already, you already drawn in to this beat, to Samurai's path. <laughs> All right. So what's gonna happen next is the first melanie is about to drop. So here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice right there. And then obviously as you can clearly see the next melody about to drop. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 
<laughs> no, I did not practice the time in advance. You know, I'm a producer. You're supposed to know the timing of your beat. You should be able to recognize it. All right, so then it's going to continue like this. And then what's going to, as you can clearly see, the drum's going to disappear. But then it's going to come in late at this part. And then it's just going to be the drums by themselves. And then the bass going to come in. And then everything else is going to come in. And then the drums will disappear and everything else will fade out. And that's the entire beat. So, yep. Let me give you, once again, the info for all of this right here. Samurai's Path, you can listen to it on my YouTube channel. I released it this past Tuesday. However, if you want to own it so you can listen to it in your car or in your stereo or whatever, go to trueinfono.bandcamp.com. The beat will be available tomorrow, June the 25th. So that would be available for you to download and to keep yourself. It's only 50 cents to do so. And this beat, Samurai's Pap, is off of my upcoming album, The Kyoto Hour. So stay tuned for that. More information on that is at truedanceinferno.co.nr. And that's pretty much it. You know, stay tuned. I got a lot of stuff coming up. July is around the corner. This is that's true and fun, though. Then. <laughs>